all right welcome back guys so in this one we are going to move to the next step and that is to install ionic cli so what is cli cli actually stands for command line interface okay and we've already had some experience with that when we use the command prompt okay and if you're on a mac you can just use the terminal so basically before we install the ionic cli i just want to you know talk a little bit about you know what a cli is so a command line interface is a program that accepts text inputs and uses those inputs to execute various functions so well i'm on a windows so i'm going to open cmd like i did before so i'll just go to my computer and type cmd and then i would click on it to open it up okay so this is what it looks like okay if you're on a mac you can use your terminal so um so basically you can issue out oh forgive me let me close some of this so basically you can issue out a command um from this command prompt okay and that command will be executed so normally if i wanted to create a folder on my desktop i would need to right click and i'll select uh new and then i'll click on folder okay so suppose i wanted to create a folder named hello i'll need to do all of this but from my command prompt i can issue a command and that folder will be created so i'm going to create a folder and i'm going to name that folder hello so the way i'll do that is i'll say mk and then i'll say dir i'll give a space and then i'll type the name of the folder so this actually stands for make directory a folder is actually a directory and then i'll say hello and then i'll hit enter Okay, so what happens here is that um, the folder was actually created, but it was created inside of users, okay? That's this user. It wasn't created on the desktop. So what I should have done first is I should have navigated to the desktop. So you know what I'm going to do? Inside of this user here, I'm going to look for the desktop. So for you to navigate between folders, right, you need to use CD okay which stands for change directory so i'll say cd which means i want to change directory and i'll start typing desktop and when i type dsk i'm just going to hit the tab key and you see that it's automatically completed for me so i hit the i press the tab key tab and then i'll hit enter and you see now that i'm in the desktop okay now if I go ahead and run the same command, so if I say mkdir and then I give a space and say hello and I hit enter, you see here on my desktop that I now have this hello folder created. So the problem was that I created it inside of this user, okay? But now that I have come to my desktop, the folder appears here okay so let me create another folder so i'll say mk or instead of saying mk i'll just press the upward arrow to access the last command okay so you see as i press the upward arrow it automatically brought out the last command i typed so you can actually just keep going pressing the upward arrow and it will go through and bring out all the commands you've typed so i'll delete this and i'll say world so i want to create another folder named word and i'll hit enter and as you can see we have two folders here so basically this is how the command line actually works so it's just a a, a terminal here where you can issue out commands and that command will be executed so i'm just going to delete this because i don't need it all right so now let's go back to our app toolkit and let's install ionic so to install ionic right remember that we've already confirmed that we have node.js and node package manager installed okay we did that using node-v but this is another way you can do it 
okay so maybe i should just do it one more time so you can see so i'll copy this um so this is just a snippet of code all you just need to do is to come here and click on copy so you really do not need to actually type anything in this course you just need to click and it will copy and then i'll come and bring up my um, command prompt and to paste it you need to just right click okay so you it's not like the regular you know right click and then you look for paste all you need to do is to right click and whatever it is you copied will automatically be pasted okay i hope you got that and then hit enter and as you can see i have version 14.15.4 okay so that's my node version all right so let's go ahead and install ionic so to install ionic this is the command we need so basically i'm just going to click here to copy it okay and then i'll bring up my command prompt and then i'll right click and then i'll hit enter okay now i already have ionic um, installed um, so there's really no need for me to do it again but just so that you can see i'll just click on enter so you can see how the process works so ionic has started installing on my um, system and i must let you know that it actually takes a while okay for ionic to install on your system okay so it may take anywhere from like maybe 10 to 15 minutes okay so be patient and make sure that you have a good internet connection before you actually start so go ahead and install ionic and then we'll continue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video um for this process to complete and when it's complete i'll just show you the output okay okay so mine is actually fast i think because i have installed ionic previously um but i'm still going to pause the video at this point so i'm pausing all right so there's no need for me to pause the video because i already have ionic installed so it was very fast for me so it removed one package and updated nine packages so I've installed Ionic and I, I now have Ionic installed on my um, on my system, okay? So let me bring this down. Now, if you have used Ionic before and you have the like previous version of Ionic, right? Um, you may need to uninstall that version before you install Ionic version 5, okay? so to uninstall the previous version you have like maybe if you have ionic version 4 you just need to run this copy this command and run it so npm uninstall dash g and then ionic and then when you've installed it uninstalled it rather you can then come and install the latest version of ionic okay so you see that the commands are different all right so that's for people that have ionic before if you've not used ionic on your system before or you just need to do this copy and then run the command all right so we've um, successfully installed ionic cli on our system next we are going to create an ionic app see you in the next video